Hello everyone. Um, we are now in uh, wheel alignment uh, place and I'm doing the wheel alignment on the Supra. Nice, uh, very irritating, representing my friend's uh, coffee shop. Um, so we change on the car um, front camber arms, uh, rear camber arms, rear traction rods and uh, rear tow rods on one, on one side. Um, so the wheel alignment is all over the place. I've been driving the car here and it literally feels like it's dan dancing on the road. Now why are we preparing the Supra is because in the, on Friday there's a track day, one of the local tracks here, a brand new circuit, a time attack. Sorry. Um, and um, we're hoping to go and uh, put a few laps in. So today's wheel alignment is going to be all about um, track setup for time attack, not for drift. But let's see how we go with the adjustments. I have this uh, messy wheels in the back, uh, 18 by 11, and they're scraping all over the place. So it'll be quite a bit of work to get them all in uh, good shape. And um, I'll, yes, that's the plan. Hopefully there's gonna be no rain or snow on Friday. We're keeping an eye on, uh, on the prognosis and um, let's see what happens. I will walk you through the wheel alignment and I'll show you what value I'm putting on the car and let's see how it handles and what lap times we can pull. I'm running at the moment 235s, um, 17s in the front and 285s, 18s on the rear. We'll see how this will work. The um, rear of the car and I'm gonna go for negative uh, 2 camber, um, 0.5 toe in and just make sure that the wheels um, are properly adjusted on the same level as the traction rows, back with the forwards, like rear caster kind of thing. And this will be uh, for track setup, and let's, let's see. Done. I've got the paper right here in front of me and I'm gonna share with everyone what settings I've done. So I start with the rear. Um, now you can see straight away that the wheels are more tucked in even if the car is actually now in the air but uh, they used to be a lot more uh, out because now we give it um, minus two negative camber in the rear. Toe in uh, 0 0.21, 0.22 um, tow in on the rear and the traction rods are set to zero which is very neutral um, now going to the front um, the front was quite a mess as well we have um, started with a camber negative um, 3 3.6 3.11 in front 
Um, I have no idea how it's going to work, but we tested on, on the track, so it gives it quite a bit of uh, negative uh, camber. Then, um, tow in very slightly. The factory recommends 0 0.06 degrees, and I gave it 0 0.11 degrees. So just a little bit of tow in uh, to give it a, a better a turn in into the corner. Um, and maximum caster, which uh, in this case, it is eight, which is quite a lot for Supra, but I like to have a very, very responsive steering wheel. I don't know again how that's gonna work, but we're gonna test it at the track. So, we're gonna pick up this video, it's gonna be Friday, and we're going to be on the way to the Time Attack Day at the Transylvania Ring. So, stay tuned.